Uh, hello traders. Hello traders. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening. Uh, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis. Good morning, good tag, good night. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, uh, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. The title of the video is uh, How to Trade Like a Pro, uh, Part 2. Alright, we recommend to traders to watch the first part of this video, okay, so they may understand, okay, uh, how to trade like pro. The things that we have discussed in the first part are completely independent from what we are going to discuss today, but traders must watch uh, all this video to understand uh, how to trade uh, uh, like pro, okay? Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, how the professional uh, uh, trade using, uh, okay, uh, the trend, alright? So if you want to buy, you want to buy during, uh, okay, the uptrend. Uh, if you want to sell, you want to sell during uh, a downtrend, all right? This is the strategy that uh, most of the investors are using. Most of the professional traders uh, do not violate the trend. You hear traders say very often that the trend is your friend, all right? But how do we put that into use? If you are trading, okay, how the professional user uh, the trend, all right? This is what we're going to discuss uh, in this video. As always, as I told you before, any time we're going to trade, we must follow the trading drill, all right? So if you're going to teach somebody to trade, all right, the first thing you want to teach the person is the trading drill, all right? You will explain to the person that, okay, the first thing you look for is the setup, all right? The setup on a different time frame, and then you wait for a signal, a trading signal, buy or sell, on another time frame. When you see a buy signal, you want to buy, you don't just buy, you will consider the risk-reward ratio, and you will make sure you enter a buy signal at a value support level, risking, okay, a small amount of money. You don't want to risk too much money, you don't want to expose your trade, okay, so that you end up losing when you are trying to, okay, gain something out of your trade, all right? You also explain to the person that when you see, okay, a sell signal, you don't just sell straight away. You look for the best place, okay, to enter the sell signal so you can control the risk and manage the risk. This is about, okay, the trading drill. This is the first thing that you must know. If you want to become a professional trader, if you want to trade like a pro, you will follow consistently, okay, the trading drill. You will see very often when I'm posting video on YouTube or I'm doing a technical analysis, I follow the same principle. I go from the higher time frame, then I drop it down, drop it down to the lower time frame. This is the trading drill always, all right? The next thing you will tell a trader is that one should not use the technical loan one will also pay attention to the economy news, to the fundamental, and use the trading triangle. So you explain to the person the trading drill. The next thing you're going to explain to the person is the trading triangle. If uh, a, a, a trader who is a new trader or beginner understands these two things, he or she is likely okay, to make excellent decisions. The trading drill and the trading triangle. So these type of traders will not use the technical alone. They will, okay, combine the technical and the fundamental, and they will follow the trading drill. By following the trading drill, one will adopt the mindset of professional traders, which means you're going to be disciplined. You know exactly what you need to look for. You know how to do it. You know how to trade. All right? Suppose, okay, you go on a hourly chart, you just see it's to cast your basol, and you buy. Sometimes it may work, or the, uh, the CCI is oversold, like here, you buy, it went up. Okay, that's not too bad. You're going to say, okay, I buy it, I'm using this, the, the CCI period 30, and uh, okay, it's a powerful tool. But you do not know how to trade. You do not know how the professionals are trading. Or you are using the moving average crossing, 20 cross above, 50 or 50 cross above 100 or 50 cross above 200 or you say to me George I use the moving averages great but if you don't know the trading drill okay you can make a lot of mistakes 
The third thing that you will tell the trader is that the price is the number one indicator. So though the professionals are using technical indicators, okay, they are using they are paying attention more to the price. So you will say to the trader that okay, apart from the trading drill, all right, apart from the trading triangle, the next thing you should remember is that you are always trading the price. So spend most of your time look checking the price, analyzing the price, pay attention to the indicator, but confirm all the signal given by the indicator by the price. So you are teaching the person how to train, how to day train, or how to swing train, let like professional traders, following the training drill, following the training triangle, and paying attention to the price itself, the number one indicator. The next thing also you will tell to the trader is uh, the multiple time frame training method. So you will say to the trader, I say, okay, you see, according to the training drill, the setup is a different time frame, the signal is a different time frame, and the entry is a different time frame. This is a multiple time frame trading method. But how this is uh, okay, a top-down trading method, but how do we put that into use? How the professional do it in a real time when they are training? I want to show you here, okay, a kind of an introduction to multiple time frame trading method. And I want you to pay attention carefully. And uh, I think it will make sense to you. It's very simple, okay, but it's also powerful. We're going to go now to the daily chart. We are a little bit lazy today, all right? So we don't want to go to the uh, yearly chart or monthly chart. We are day traders. We want to stop only on a daily chart at least, all right? So on a daily, this daily chart, I join at this point, okay? I join, I draw a channel roughly here, this point, and this point here, this point, and this point. So I draw this uh, face orange line here. It's a bullish trend line. And I choose one point on the top here, this point here, and I draw a line that is parallel to the first orange line. So I have uh, this uh, orange channel. So from the daily chart, I draw my uh, channel. So as I explained to you, to trade like a pro, okay, is to trade the trend. You don't want to trade against the trend. When you are trading against the trend, you must be aware of it. So you say, this is a contract trend. This is a risky trade, but I know what I'm doing, and I want to control it. So you know what you are doing. But if you do not know the trend, all right, you will be selling when the trend is going up, and you end up losing because, for instance, if you are selling because the stochastic is overbought, but the trend is bullish, you are trading against the trend. If, for instance, the CCI is oversold, but the trend is bearish, and you are busy buying, all right, you are trading against the trend, all right? So professional traders, to trade like a pro, one must always identify the trend. One must trade the trend, all right? This is what we're going to discuss today. I'm going to show you. So from the daily chart of uh, this uh, UTS, United Technology, I see that the trend is bullish because why? The market pattern is bullish, it's in a reprise, it's in a rising channel. Remember I said to you that when you are teaching somebody to trade like a pro, you will say to the person to pay attention more to the price than the indicator. So by paying attention to the price, we'll notice that the price is in a rising channel and professionals are trading the trend. They are not trading against the trend. So from this daily chart, I have my orange trend line. Everybody's agreed, okay? Now I'm going to switch now, this is a demonstration, to how professional trading using multiple time frame trading methods. So now I'll switch back to the, okay, four hour chart. The, the trend line, the channel that we have drawn on the daily chart is still visible on our four hour chart. So what I have done now, I have connected the daily chart to the four hour chart because the line that are drawn on the daily chart, I can see them, I can see the trend, is here. So now, on this uh, four hour chart, I have drawn some blue channel. You can see the small blue channels on my four hour chart. You see them? This one was going down, this one is going, this channel is going up, this channel is going down, this channel is going up, this channel is going down, this channel is going up, this channel is going down, this channel is going uh, almost uh, horizontal. Okay, it went along the trail line, it didn't go up, it went horizontal almost here, and then this one went down, and this now where we are is in a rising channel on a four hour chart. So the bigger channel, which is the daily channel, is a rising channel. 
But in that rising channel, the price was not always going up. You can see that one time it was down, up, down, up, down, up, down. But the momentum, remember what I said to you about the channel, whenever we see a rising channel, the first thing that is coming to our mind is a bullish uh, momentum, all right? Though the, bull, the momentum is bullish, or we may say to trade the power to bullish signal, but the price is not going up. So somebody who is buying here during that time when the price is in a declining channel on a four-hour chart may lose. So they will say, well, you say that if the price is in a rising channel, I should buy. But you're wrong. You buy. If you buy here, you buy at the wrong time and at the wrong place. So how do we connect? How do we handle that? The bullish momentum is bull. Uh, the channel is bullish. It's bullish. Uh, the market pattern is bullish. All right. So we want to buy. If you want to buy, okay, on a four-hour chart using a four-hour chart or a signal, the price must come out of a bearish channel on a four-hour chart. So here it is. So when it come out of the bearish, you see, it was in a bearish channel. We know that the momentum on the daily chart is bullish. But as soon as we don't want to buy until the price come out of a, a declining channel on a four-hour chart. So if it come out this channel like this, this is a kind of signal. Now we can go to the first best time frame for TSTW24 trader or another entry time frame to participate in the trade. Or another thing I can say to you. So we know that on a daily chart it's bullish. So in this scenario, very often, some disciplined professional will not sell at all. Now, so if some traders are selling in during this channel, they will know that. So, you know that, okay, the momentum is bullish. So, if I'm selling here, this is a contract trend. So, I must manage the trade. So, as soon as I define this small bearish channel on my four hour chart, I'm looking for opportunity to sell along this uh, line here, the top one here. So, if I switch from the four hour chart, to three minute chart, five minute chart, ten minute chart to sell. I know that this is a contract trend. The price may go down, but for a while. So I am not violating okay the market pattern on the four hour chart. I'm just following the price. But I know behind my head, okay, that the market is bullish. Okay, it's going up. I want you to pay attention to the horizontal line that I draw here. These are from the a weekly chart, the higher time frame. So although the channel is rising, we must be aware of what? The resistance level. Because it's not because the channel price in a rising channel, the price will go up forever. So as the price going up in a rising channel, we want to be aware of uh, the horizontal channel, the key levels. This is how professional trading. So from the daily chart, I know that, uh, okay, it's going up, okay. But I know on the four-hour chart, if it's in a declining channel like this, I may decide to step aside if I don't want to, to sell at all because I know that the momentum is bullish. The only time I will be okay, getting excited to buy is when the price comes out of uh, this bearish channel on the four-hour chart. So if you consider the daily chart as the long term, we consider this uh, uh, four-hour chart as a medium term. We will wait for the medium term to align the medium okay, term, to, to align the medium trend, to align with uh, the long-term trend before we are completely bullish. Because the long-term term, the long-term trend can be bullish, but the medium term, the medium trend can be bearish for a while, you see? It's bearish for a while, okay? So, if the long-term trend is bullish, and we want to buy, we want to wait until the, the medium term trend, the medium trend is also bullish. So here it was bearish because on the four hour chart, it's in the declining channel, the medium term trend is bearish. So we know that the long term trend is bullish. If you want to buy, we will wait until the medium trend is also bullish, which means price is out of the declining channel or the price is now in the rising channel. And we buy, we want to pay attention also to the horizontal. Uh, a key levels. So somebody who wants to buy like this, here we will look for we will look for opportunity to buy here. So the daily chart is providing the information for the general the long term momentum. Now we see the four hour chart is providing information about the medium term. So as soon as the medium trend is aligned with uh, the long term trend, professional will be willing to look for opportunity to buy for day trading purposes. You see here, so we will can switch to the first better frame using T S T W twenty four. And I will take it from here. This is going up. We're watching it. Now, if uh, the, the market pattern on the four-hour chart, which is the medium 
chart, in the medium, the medium term chart, which is the four hour chart, the, the price again in a declining channel, we need to hold it. We can't buy anymore. We wait until, okay, the tide has changed again. So if now it's become bearish here, so if you are buying in this uh, session here, if you buy in the wrong place, you may lose. Though the bullish, the momentum is bullish, but you buy at the wrong time when the medium trend is bearish. You want to wait until the medium trend is bullish, and then here it is. It goes up again in the rising channel. We are bullish again. We are watching the horizontal line as if, if the medium term trend and the long term term trend are bullish, we want to look for opportunity to buy. Now we will switch to the lower time frame. This is about the short term trend. Right, the short term trend, we'll watch the short term trend. So as soon as this is about the low risk entry point, at the time when the short term trend is aligned with the medium term trend and the long term trend, we will enter the trade. Because sometimes, all right, the long term trend is bullish, the medium trend also is bullish, but though the price going up uh, here, you see in the rising chart, which means on the four-way chart, the medium term trend is bullish. The price did not go in a straight line here. It went almost horizontal, a straight line, but you see sometimes it pulled back. So we will use a lower time frame to wait for the price to pull back when the short term trend is also aligned with the medium term trend and the long term trend. This is how the professional are trading, either for swing trading and for day trading. The exercise I'm doing here, I'm doing a demonstration or an introduction to the, okay, a multiple time frame trading method connecting the daily chart and the four chart without violating the market pattern, without violating the trend, without violating the market principle. As you can see, I'm spending most of my time paying attention to the price, the number one indicator. The indicators are giving warning, so if I want to buy with my technical indicator, here is, the, here is a good signal here, you see. This is a good signal here because why? The CCI, where I'm placing my thing, I will remove this one here. You can see that the CCI at this point in time was oversold, and the price also, the, the medium term trend is also becoming bullish. So the long term trend is bullish, and the medium trend is, is changing here, changing to become a bullish uh, okay, a trend. And the CCI is oversold. Now I will not enter the trend on the forward chart. I will go to the first best time frame for the TSC 24 traders, or I may use uh, okay another low risk entry point. And when I'm about to enter the trend, remember what we said, okay, the trading triangle. All right, it makes sense. It is also powerful. So you don't want to forget the economy news for Red Factory, Google Finance, Yahoo Finance, Bloomberg, Financial Times. All right, check the economy news of the commodity that you are trading, check the economy news relating to the stock that you are trading, check the economy news, okay, relating to the currency that you are trading, all right, and apply, okay, a top-down trading method and uh, trade like a professional traders. All right? It makes sense? It is also powerful. So, the long-term trend is bullish, but the medium, the medium-term trend can be bearish for a while, we will wait for the medium term trend to become a bullish to align with the long term trend and we will go to the short term trend wait for the short term trend to align with the medium trend and we will be willing to participate in the direction of the trend in this case we are not forcing it we are not violating the market principle we are just flowing with the price so here the orange is horizontal so we will look for opportunity to buy when the medium term is in a rising channel like this but we will go to the lower term frame as soon as the price pull back near the edge of the, the lower part of the, this uh, bullish channel here, on the four hour chart, on the lower time frame, we enter the trend and we take it up. When the price is going up, we are paying attention to the horizontal uh, key levels. All right? So here, though the price on the daily chart is going up, here it went down. So if you are buying during this time, you are trading, you are violating a market principle, a market pattern on the four hour chart. That's why sometimes trade and lose. Though the CCI here at this time was uh, oversold, is you see, it was oversold, but the price was in a declining channel. This is not the best time to trade an indicator. If you are trading an indicator like this, you are forcing it, okay? You are violating the market pattern right here. This is how the professionals are trading. They are not violating, okay, the market uh, uh, patterns, all right? They are trading the trend, 
and they are not forcing the trend. They want to align everything carefully. All right? So here, it will be a better time to, to buy because the medium-term trend is uh, bullish and the long-term trend is bullish. We are connected to the, the daily chart and the forward chart. This is a, a, an example of a multiple time frame trading method using the market patterns, the channels, okay, aligning it with uh, the long-term momentum. Here, if we are selling because the price in a declining channel here, this is a contra trend because the medium term trend is uh, okay, all right, back in the trend is opposite to the trend. We need to be careful. So, if I sold it on the edge of this uh, declining channel here, I know that this is a contra trend. It's a primary holding that I'm watching the support level because the bull will be positioning themselves along the support level. There's another blue line here. See, he has a pulling back near the support level. I'm ready to take my point because I know this is a contra trend. This is a risky trend. And I don't want to sell and forget because the long-term trend is bullish. As soon as it come out of uh, this uh, bearish channel, game on, all right? We're looking for opportunity to buy again. We take it to the next resistance level. Again, it has, uh, the, the, the pattern has changed on the medium term. You need to be careful. Again, from there, we'll take it from there. Okay, you can see here the price did not go up, it went up, but uh, it went a little bit like a crab on the side, okay? And you want to draw your channel, as I show you here, and uh, follow in, uh, okay, the market pattern. The bigger channel, the smallest channel within this channel, we can break it down even up to 10 minutes. Channel. I can draw again smaller channel within this uh, uh, blue channel here. I can draw a smaller channel within this uh, blue channel here. And this is how uh, the professionals are trading, all right? So remember what we said, the trading drill, very, very important, all right? That's the first thing that the professional are following, the setup, okay, the signal, okay, and the entry point, okay? The second thing that professional paying attention to is the trading triangle. You may check on Google, type in trading triangle, okay, by Georges Trio. You see a video where I explain to traders what is the trading uh, uh, triangle, all right? The third thing that we want really to remember is what the price okay is the number one indicator. All right, all right. You need to remember that the price is the number one indicator. All right, and we need to trade the price self. Spend most of our time uh, following uh, the price self. You see here. So this is how we we the professional are trading. All right. Professional are also watching the time of the day. So if you are day trader, if the market is open, all right. You are what you are want to day trade during the first two hours when the market is open. All right, that's very important. So very often for traders that are trading for us, when London is open, all right, the first two hours, all right, it's very important for day trading. But uh, as the market open, wait 30 minutes. So if you are trading stocks, especially those who are trading stocks, commodity market is open, the future market is open, the stock market is open. Wait. If the market is open, wait 30 minutes first before you enter the trade. Remember the first part of the video, how to trade like a pro, part one. We have discussed those things. Do not forget them. Do not learn one thing and forget them. So you want to learn things step by step. So you clarify one point, you clarify one stage before you move to the next stage. So if we are talking about how to trade like a pro, you watch the first video. You try to understand it, you try to test it, you want to practice it, you want to master it until you own it, before you watch the second video. So before you add new knowledge, you must master the first stage, okay, first. All right, that's how you want to clear it. So you clear completely the first stage. So you are in year one, you want to know everything in year one before you move to year two, all right? Because if you don't understand everything that they teach you or they taught you on the year one, in year two, you may have some problems. So you must have everything in year one before you move to year two. All right? Step by step. Give it a time and don't rush. You don't have to prove anything to me. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. You need to prove everything to yourself. All right? It's your money. You make the decision. It's trading for you. Yes or no? It's day trading. Is this swing trading. Do you trade stock? Do you trade currency? Do you trade commodity? Are you using spread betting? Are you using a binary betting? Are you using a, okay option? Are you using CFD? What do you want to use? Do you buy and hold? What type of trader you are? What's your risk tolerance? All right, apply the five percent money management rules. All right, and uh, that's this is why 
you want to do. Okay? So the trading day will allow you to be very disciplined. So the daily charts, so on a daily chart, okay, we we, we see a setup, okay? Setup is what? Okay, price in the rising channel. So it's bullish, okay? But we want to know where are the resistance levels. So it's bullish. We don't want to buy, okay, near a resistance level. So we want to know where are the support levels. That's why we have the horizontal line. It's very important, okay? All right? So now you go to the four hour chart, you say, okay, the daily chart is bullish. The four hour chart, I want it to be in a rising channel at least before. I buy. If you want to buy on the forward chart, you want to pull back on the lower end of the channel. The inverse is also true. If I had here, let's see if I can see another a bearish uh, a chart on a daily chart so I can break it down also so you can see uh, the demonstration clearly and uh, how the professional uh, are trading. The market has been bullish. It's now very difficult to see uh, a bearish channel on the. Ah, there is one here, IBM. And I'm going to do the same demonstration here for you, connecting the daily chart and the four hour chart to you, okay? So pay attention carefully. Remember what we said, the trading drill, the trading triangle, the price is the number one indicator. You must confirm all signal by the price itself. We use indicator too, but uh, the, all I'm saying to traders, attention. So I'm drawing again on for this uh, stock, IBM, on a daily chart. Roughly I join this point and this point roughly and uh, this time okay just choose one point here to make it parallel to the top one here that's it so I'm going to color it again in orange so you can remember everything clearly so during that time we can say that okay the market uh, pattern on the daily chart or the momentum is bearish so we will say priority to bearish signal as a day trader we want to sell but we want to sell on the edge of a lower channel like this now, up from the daily chart, I want to connect the daily chart to the four-hour chart. I don't want to violate the market principle. And the professionals are always trading the trend. They do not trade against the trend. If you want to become a professional trader, or if you are learning to trade, all right, and or they want to test you, or you are applying to become a professional trader, and uh, they, they say to you, okay, come over, and we're going to test you. And they give you a financial instrument to trade, do not make the mistake to trade against the trader. You will not be selected. If they see that you uh, you lost because you were trading against the trade, you are a very bad trader. So this exercise, okay, if you are a student learning to trade, pay attention carefully. Do not, you can have a losing trade, but if they say you have a losing trade, say, I did not trade against the trend. Or if they ask you, why you didn't buy here? You may say, because the trend is bearish. I don't want to, to buy. You will have a valid reason, okay, to defend yourself, all right? So do not trade against the trend. Do not use the TSTW24 against the trend, all right? And do not use a single time frame, okay, when you are trading. So from the from the four-hour chart, I'm combining the four-hour chart to my uh, orange channel. You can see that uh, though the channel is bearish, there were times where the price was uh, rising, okay? So here, as he was going up like this in a declining channel, this is a contract trend. So if you are buying during that time, this, we need to watch it carefully because you know that the, the, the momentum on the daily chart is bearish. And if it's going up like this on the forward chart, we know that, okay, this is a contract trend. The medium term trend is, is uh, banking, okay, the, the, the daily chart trend. The momentum on the daily chart is bearish, but here, for a while, the momentum is bullish on the four-hour chart. We'll wait until, okay, the momentum on the four-hour chart also is bearish. And it came on, we are looking for opportunity to sell big time. So here, so here he went to that. So you need two points to draw a chance at this point. This point. So the trader will wait for it to retest the edge of the, this channel here on the four-hour chart. This, and then we'll, uh, okay, look for opportunity to sell. Some traders, you see here, Either I come off to the channel like this on the forward chart and uh, retest it. You see this green candle here? This one here was trying to retest uh, the, the, the thing. Couldn't, okay? Couldn't. All right? Professional like it to retest it, but he, he didn't allow it here. So break below the channel and uh, retest it here. You sell because the daily chart is uh, bearish. So from the forward chart, you select your low risk entry time frame to enter the trade. The trading drill, the setup, the signal, the low risk entry point. To not forget the trading triangle, the market first, the sector, 
before the individual financial instrument. Okay, the economy news can change the dynamics of the technical setup. Do not forget that. Do not forget that. Do not forget that. All right, you like my voice? I'm speaking like this to get your attention. All right, do not forget that. The economy news can change. Okay, the earlier wave pattern can change. Okay, the Fibonacci pattern, the fundamental can change. Okay, the technical setup. Do not forget that. Okay. Remember that. There are other market participants that are using the fundamental. They are using economy news to make their decisions. Do not forget other market participants. So you see a technical setup. Now combine the technical and the fundamental. Remember, you want to trade like a pro, you cannot use the technical alone. When a professional trader says to you, I'm a purest technical trader, they are saying to you, yes, I'm aware of the, the economy news, but I don't use the economy news to make my decision. I use the technical to make my decision, but they know when the economy news are due, they know when a bearish economy news is released, and they know what other market participants are doing, all right? So you want to follow it and do exactly the same thing. So here, you see, the prime went up, what it did, it just gapped down big time, gapped down big time, okay? So this is the problem in the contract trend, it's a risky trade. Suppose you were buying on the edge here, all right, that's what we say. You see the medium-term trend is a contra trend here. It's a risky trade. Trader that we're buying here, if uh, they don't know what, what what is going to happen, is here. It just gap down, boom, down completely from this level, down completely here. So be careful. So the daily chart is bearish, priority to bearish signal. All right. So here, so it, it's, this is again another contra trend because the price went down fast. Again, another contract trend. So if you want to buy because on the forward chart you have a rising channel, but the daily chart is bearish, you want to be very careful. All right? So you don't violate, okay, the market principle. And this is about the higher time frame, command the lower time frame. The momentum is bearish on the daily chart. Day traders want to be bearish. The momentum is bullish on the daily chart. Day traders want to be bullish. But you don't want to be bullish when the medium term trend is bearish. All right, you see here, all right? You don't want to be yeah, bullish when the medium term trend is bearish, okay? You don't want to be bearish when the medium term trend is bullish, okay? Now, you want to know when it's a contra trend. Sometimes traders will take a signal, they will say, George, this is a triple red signal. But is the triple red signal aligned with the trend? This is a, a double green signal. What is the trend, all right? That's why we are talking about the setup. Find a value setup and break it down, break it down, break it down, and go to the first best time frame. This SSI, I'm not hiding anything here. I'm sharing with you a kind of introduction to a multiple time frame trading method. All right? So here again, this is a contra trend. As soon as the trend changes, you see here, break below and retest. All right? If you're an aggressive trader, we will sell straight away and play the stop loss here. It's a bit risky, but see? Again, a declining channel. Now where we are for this, uh, it come out of, uh, now, you see here, we are out of uh, the orange bearish channel. So what do we need to do now? Because the daily chart is providing the excellent formation for us, now the price is out of uh, this uh, channel. We need to go to the weekly chart because the information that the daily chart was providing for us, now the price is above it, which means on a daily chart, it's no more bearish as such because the price is out of uh, the momentum on the daily chart, okay, is diminishing. It's, you might, we can't say that it's completely finished, but it's diminishing because it's the price out of uh, the bearish channel. So here, the game that we were playing here, which we were giving priority to sell signal, that game is over. So we want to know when the music has changed so we can also change our steps. It makes sense. It is also powerful. This is about uh, how to trade like a pro, a part a two. I will be recording another video about uh, how to trade like a pro, a part three. If you like this video, okay, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But put your comment below why you dislike it so we can keep improving. We like the interaction between traders and us. We, as a YouTube creators, we like to have your view. And if you like it, okay, honestly, like it. Don't like it because you like me, all right? In that case, you are not providing me with uh, excellent information, all right? It's not because you like me. I know some traders, okay, 
are following us, they like what we are doing, okay? If you like it, like it. If you have any excellent comment to make, if you have experienced something in trading, okay, that you want to share, put the comment below. Okay, we want to know, all right? So put it below. Sometimes I don't reply to comments straight away, but there are days, okay, because during the year I spent some time. This last year I spent uh, almost one month replying some comment on YouTube. So I always go back to the comment. You may say to me, I put a comment, George, I'm still waiting for a reply. One day you will see a reply from George, all right? Sometimes I reply straight away. Sometimes I just, all the comments, I read them. So all the time somebody put a comment on our video, we'll receive email from uh, YouTube. That George, you receive it. There was a comment, this activity on this X video. I always check the comment and I know what's happening there, okay? So I hope you have learned something from this video uh, that you will put into use to make excellent decisions. Remember the trading drill, the trading triangle, the price is the number one indicator. One must always use a top down trading method, the setup, the signal, and the low risk entry point together with the trading triangle. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be a very happy. This is about how to trade like a pro, a pack two. See you in the third part of these videos.